فلما دخلوا على يوسف آوى إليه أبوه. Now when all of them entered Egypt and when they presented themselves to Yusuf, he raised his parents, father and mother, to his throne. وَقَالَتْ خُلُوا مِصْرَ إِن شَاءَ اللَّهُ آمِنِينَ And he welcomed them. Now enter Misr. If Allah so decrees, you will have peace here. You will have all rest. Security. Now note this also point of political importance. Because the king was not an Egyptian, alien king, so that was also advisable for him to have some alien force over there. So he actually welcomed and he settled them down in the best areas of Egypt. The best, the most fertile lands were given to them. Okay, come here, settle. So that he has a force, you know. If there is some rebellion, uprising among the locals, you know, then he can have a support. And that is why, you know, these people, Bani Israel, their progeny, they enjoyed the best of comforts. They were the most, you know, fortunate people. They had the best lands. And they had all the support of that you know, king and his family. And that is why they were very prosperous. They multiplied, multiplied in number. But there was, after a few hundred years, there was a local revolt, a revolution. Then the sons of the soil came up. Now for them, these people were the worst people. Because they had supported and they were a source of support for those alien rulers who were not Egyptians originally, who were alien rulers for Egyptians. And he raised his, both his parents on the throne and they prostrated before, fallen, they fell before him in prostration. And Yusuf said, oh, my father, this is the Taweel, this is the end, and this is the interpretation of my dream that I saw much earlier. My Lord, my Rabb, has made it true. And he was very gracious to me when he brought me forth from the prison. And in the same way, he is very gracious that he has brought you from that desert. After the Satan had put, inflicted a strife, between me and my brothers. In Rabbi Latifun Limayasha. My Lord is very subtle to whatever He commands or whatever He wants. Whatever He wants to accomplish, nobody can, you know, obstruct Him. In the Huhu Ali, Uhul Ali Mulhakim. Verily, He is the all knowing, all wise. Rabbi Qadate Tani Minal Mulk. Now He is praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, my Lord, you have given me this power to rule the land. And it is you who taught me the interpretation of all things, all sayings, all visions, all incidents, all accidents. Oh, the originator of the heavens and the earth. You are my protector, even in this world and also in, in, in the hereafter. So please make me die as a Muslim. Protect me that I don't go away or go back from Islam and Iman. Keep me a Muslim till my death. And then you join me with your righteous persons, bondsmen. Now this is from the news of the unseen that we are relating to you. O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are revealing to you. You were not with them is Ajma'u Amrahum when they had decided and agreed upon their plot to put Hazrat Yusuf into the well. Wahum Yamkurun and they were, you know, plotting. Although, you know, for these people who ask this question, this should suffice. This should be sufficient for them to reveal to them that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And all these news are coming to him from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It should be sufficient. But even if you are very desirous, very keen, 
most of the people will not come to believe and you are not asking for them any reward in who I it is nothing but a reminding for all the worlds all the nations of the world and how many signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his unity his his attributes are there in the heavens and the earth and they pass over them pass by them but they don't ponder over them they turn their faces away from that and they're very great very important ayah and most of them don't believe in Allah Except doing some sort of shirk also. This is applicable to us also. If we, you know, peep down into our hearts and what beliefs we have and to our, if we interpret, you know, what our actions are, we will find that we are also committing shirk. But only we have to know what shapes and what forms this shirk can take. What was the shirk of the ancient time? What is the shirk of the modern time? I have a two years, uh, two hours uh, recording on this subject. The, the forms of shirk, different forms of shirk. Are these people secure? That to them cannot come a covering from the chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or to him, the appointed hour that Qiyamah might come, Baghdatan, suddenly. And they will not be perceiving it, they will not be apprehending it. Say to them, this is my way. I'm calling towards Allah. And I'm calling not blindly, with sure knowledge. This is most important. Not only me, also who are following me. They are not following blindly. They are, they are following knowingly. But subhanallah wa ma'ana min al and all glory is for Allah. And I am not an associator. I am not from among the associators. I don't associate anyone, anything with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any respect. Wa ma arsalna min qablika illa rijalan nuhi ilayhim min ahil qura. And we didn't send before you to all these towns messengers, but they were men. They were humans. Alam yasiru fil ard. Have they not moved in the earth, in the land, traveled in the land? And see for themselves what was the end of those who were before them. And surely the house of hereafter is much better, much better for those who have taqwa, who believe in Allah, who regard him. So don't you understand? Hatta is a stayasar rusul. Until when the messengers got despaired. Despaired of what? Not of Allah's help. But that the nation is not going to believe anymore. No one else is going to believe now from among them. This is what you know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, we have read it in Surah Uhud. That, O oh, no, nobody else is now go going to believe in you. Except those who have, who have already believed. When the messengers of Allah became despaired of the people that they are not going to believe was and people also thought that he were told they were told lies when they were saying they were told that a chastisement will come a azab will come you will be destroyed and so many years have passed no azab has come and he thought also that all it was lie it was not it was false threats nothing else then our help came to them to the messengers so whomsoever we please he was saved and our chastisement could not be averted our wrath could not be averted from the guilty oh you people of understanding for you there is a lesson in their tales this Quran is not something which could be forged by men. It is the divine word and it confirms that is present before it. And it has all the details for the guidance. 
and it is the guidance and the mercy of Allah for those who believe. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم.